beautiful prayer. Thank you. Oops. Good reading. Good reading. Here's a prayer about fire. It burneth to ashes the harvest of reason. Be thou so steadfast in thy love, that thy heart shall not waver. Even if the swords of the enemies rain blows upon thee, and all the heavens and the earth, Arise against thee when the fire of love is ablaze. It burneth to ashes the harvest of reason. Be thou so steadfast in thy love that thy heart shall not waver. Even if the swords of the enemies rain blows upon thee and all the heavens and the earth rise against thee what does it mean if the swords of the enemy sorry what does it mean if the swords of the enemy rain blows upon you what does that mean What's that mean? <clears throat> I guess it depends on what your enemies are. I mean, sometimes um, when I'm lazy or I don't want to do something, my enemy can be myself. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. my enemy, yeah, mm -hmm. visually that. Mm -hmm. So, there's something. <laughs> There's something we're called on to do and that uh, we may not feel like doing it. Could be homework, could be serving the cause, could be doing dinner. Waking up in the morning. Waking up in the morning. <laughs> and it's like we feel so defeated. It's like the swords of the enemy are just beating on us. You know, it's like a sword is sharp, but you can turn the sword sideways and it's kind of like being whacked. The swords of the enemies are raining upon you. So we try to take a stand when we have to take a stand against our enemies it's like we have to stand up to this kind of attack and uh, and try to do you know what's what's right and what's in our heart Happy to be uh, um, working on the east side to um, try to bring people together. We live in a world that's got lots of division, lots of disunity, lots of, of, of racism, lots of, of, um, of poverty, lots of unhappiness. And uh, that uh, um, Baha'u'llah um, uh, came to bring unity to the world and he invites Baha'is and their friends to to work in their communities, you know, to bring people together. And that can be, um, it's not a really a fancy thing, it's a really a simple thing. It's uh, um, having children's classes together where we learn about, you know, this, the, uh, how to read God's word and, and how to be good people. And it's uh, uh, praying together in community neighborhood devotions like this. Got some food that I brought from my home. Uh, some garden green beans. I cooked them. I harvested them myself. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, got some uh, zucchini in there. I grew those. Uh, onions in there. I grew those too. I got mm -hmm. some carrots in there. I grew those as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, mixed them all up with some rice I didn't grow. And uh, mm -hmm. it should be ready. <laughs> My potato salad did I do? No. You earned the money to. Mm -hmm. 
buy the potato salad from I wonder. Sorry, I didn't have time to forget this. We literally just got in one. I'm just so glad yeah. that uh, <laughs> uh, we can feed you tonight. Okay, thank you. <laughs>